Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about movable joints or synovial joints. Joints are where bones come together. A synovial joint is unique because the bones have cartilage at the end, they are attached by the ligaments, and there's a space in between the two bones filled with a fluid called synovial fluid, which acts as a cushioning agent. Let's take a look at some of the different types of the synovial joints we have in our body. First, you have a ball and socket, and they are found at your shoulder and your hip, and they allow you to move your shoulders and hips up and down and back and forth, and they have the greatest range of motion. Next is a condyloid joint, and if you take your wrist and the bone with the radius in your wrist, you can see you can move your wrist back and forth and up and down. That is because of the condyloid joint. Next, you have a plane or a gliding joint, and these are found in your feet, and they allow the tarsals and the bones of your feet to glide back and forth. Your saddle joint is found at your thumb, and it allows it to move across your hand it allows you to have an opposable thumb. Your hinge joint is found with your knees and your elbows and they allow movement of back and forth. And finally the pivot joint is found at your vertebrae and your skull and if you take your head and move it to the left and right and up and down that is the movement caused by the pivot joint. So there we go the main synovial joints which allow us to move in many different directions. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day.